I've shown you how to create a cluster on Google Cloud Platform for Kubernetes and deploy the applications on it. So far, we have created or deployed frontend and the catalog as along with the catalog database. Now I'm going to give you an assignment where you would add another application that is this cards application. Now cards has two components cards and cards DB. What I want you to do is just go ahead and deploy the cards application. So right now we have three services and uh, three deployments. Uh, services uh, correspond to the number of deployments and the names as well. And uh, this is the application which has been deployed. Uh, there's a front end and then there is a catalog. Catalog serves these pages and uh, the images as well. The next thing that you're going to do is deploy the cards. And after you deploy the cards, how do you validate it is basically it should show up a cards shopping cart on the top page, top right corner rather here. You may not be able to use it unless you add the database, which is okay. Uh, but you should uh, definitely see this button right here on the top right corner after you have deployed the cards application successfully. The images for the cards application are already available here. So you can use either these images or you can build your own images and use those. And uh, that's available on Docker Hub. So if you can use this image, which is available on Docker Hub and uh, with the latest tag. So the image is given, the problem statement is given, you have to go ahead and deploy that and then connect it with the front end. And uh, to connect it with the front end, I'm just going to show you the, um, you know, the uh, way it connects with the catalog application is uh, from front end. Again, there is a endpoint. So API directory and endpoints.js. And uh, this connects with the cards application using this host name called as cards on port 80. So it's going to use port 80. Do remember that. And I'm also going to describe to you what uh, port it, um, you know, the Docker has been configured uh, to expose, which is 8080. So you'll have to map, the service has to map 80 port to the target port 8080 in order to, uh, to make this work, the connection work, right? So go ahead, create a deployment for the cards application and validate it by refreshing this. And if you see the cards uh, shopping cart uh, right here, uh, consistently available, that means it is running perfectly fine. So that's your assignment for Kubernetes. And once you complete that, you can also look at the solution, which I'm going to publish as another video.